Hey guys, it's Ryan living in Ecuador, sharing this beautiful country with you. And the sun is shining. It's about 8.30 in the morning. People are headed off to work. And uh, whoop, this guy's scraping the bottom of his car. And you can see Cotopaxi in the background there. It's a clear day. That's one of the largest active volcanoes in the world. And we happen to have a nice view from it from our balcony, just on clear days. Over here is Ilalo, an extinct volcano that I stare at every single day. And just down there is Kumbaya and the Tumbaco Valley. That's what I'm talking about today. Most expats that live in the Quito area live down in Kumbaya. So I wanna talk a little bit about it, show you what it looks like. I also want to head to that point on Ilalo. Truth be told, I have to give up my motorcycle today. We got to sell it and it takes like a month in Ecuador. So I wanted to do one last little motorcycle trip and every single day I stare at Ilalo. I look at that spot over there and I think I should drive my motorcycle up there, kind of get a view of the valley, get a view of our place where we live. And I just think it would be a cool road. So we're going to do it. We're going to figure it out somehow. I don't even know how to do it, but it looks like there's a road there. There's obviously people living up along there. So it's adventure time. Y'all don't know people like this. Y'all don't know people like this. Y'all don't know people like this. Oh my god. This thing is like barely cooked. You cook them fresh. It's good though. Buttery. Sitting here at a place called Juan Valdez. It's a a chain in Ecuador, all across Ecuador, I think, maybe even locations in Colombia. I think Juan, Juan Valdez is Colombian. Si, soy colombiano. <laughs> it's a good place to get a cup of coffee, good cup of coffee. This behind me is Kumbaya Plaza, Kumbaya Square, but it's like the main little square in Kumbaya. All along this road here is lined with restaurants. They're pretty high end actually. Kumbaya is weird because it's a mixture of these like, fancy places, these expensive higher-end places, and some character still. There's still some of that older, real Ecuador in Kumbaya. Not as much as Tumbaco, which we'll see later, but there definitely is some here. My favorite parts of Kumbaya are the little streets in and around the square here. They're just like quaint, and there's the old railway tracks that run through them, and it's cobblestone kind of streets. So I guess you could call this like the main area of Kumbaya, like the downtown, I guess. But really, the main like commercial area is up further that way. There's the grocery store, the Supermaxi. There's the Paseo de, de San Francisco, which is like a mall. And the university's right there. That main little street or intersection there, that's where, you know, if I take the bus down into Kumbaya, I get dropped up there. Usually do grocery shopping, whatever shopping I need to do is around there and I can walk to here from there in about 10 minutes. So technically it's a rural parish in the metropolitan district of Quito. It's in the Tumbaco Valley, just east of Quito. It's about 2,200 meters above sea level, which is about 500 less than Quito. So it's a little bit warmer here, like five degrees warmer than in Quito usually. The name is interesting. We all know the song Kumbaya. Kumbaya it has nothing to do with that. They don't even know where the name actually comes from. One of the theories is that it's a Quechua word, Kumbaha, which means let's go this way, friend. They think that maybe it came from that, but nobody really knows. Stop for a bit more breakfast. This is an empanada and some marocho corn drink that's really popular in Ecuador. These booths here, they're here every day, serving up breakfast to people getting off the bus and stuff. It's really good. Little bits of corn in it, which might not sound good, but it gets soft, sugary texture. 75 cents for these two things, so it's a really cheap, quick breakfast. And these empanadas are basically fried dough with a little bit of cheese in them. Pretty simple, but good. So there's about 30,000 people living in Kumbaya. Of course, they live in these buildings above the restaurants and stuff, but a lot of people are wealthier, 
people who commute to Quito every day and they live in these gated communities. That's what we live in. It's a good way to do it, really, in Ecuador. There's a bit more security, and plus you get your pool, you get your gym and all that stuff. It's also a little soulless. You know, it's a lot more character. Living in one of these places downtown, I think it would be kind of a better experience because you're in the whole thing. You're in it. You feel more local. feels more Ecuadorian. I think now, finish this off, and I'll head up Ilaldo, see if we can get some good views of Kumbaya. I don't even know if I can make it there. I kind of have a rough idea of how to get up there. I'm just going to head in that direction, look for a road that goes up, and just keep climbing until I can't go anymore. Yeah, and I'll give you a, a better idea of the layout of Kumbaya, where the highway is, where Quito is, where Tumbaco is. So let's do that. Let's hit the road. Can't go any further here. Gated. It says it goes up further, but road's blocked. Maybe I'll talk to this guy and see if he'll let me through. Solo, solo por divertido. Drive? No possible. Okay, okay gracias. Bugs are ruthless. So, ah, I am part way up, not very much way up at all, just uh, a little bit higher than the valley. But I got a pretty nice view here. This is Kumbaya here. Kumbaya. It's difficult to tell when you're actually driving around in it, but it's all on a slope there, and it slopes right down into Tumbaco, which is over here. So it's Essentially, that's the Tumbaco Valley. There's a river that cuts through it. There's a couple spots you can access it, but it's hard to access the river because it's down in a canyon. Apparently, this road goes for a while, so we'll keep driving it and see if we can get a better view. But I do want to talk about Ilalo, the dormant volcano that I stare at every day. I wake up, I look out at it. It hasn't erupted for 1.6 million years, so it's like dead but not really dead because there are some hot springs on it. So we know there is some heat in there that's coming out. I don't think it'll ever erupt. There are a few calderas, but they're pretty small and they haven't had any activity. The top of it is about 3,185 meters. Compare that to Kumbaya, it's about a thousand meters difference. So it's uh, not huge, but it certainly looks huge from my balcony. It's something to, to look at, something to appreciate. Just gives you a sense of the vastness of everything, especially when you drive around it, you hit the highway and you're like, oh, we're on the other side of Ilalo. It just seemed so far away. It seemed, you know, and then you look at Cotopaxi from my balcony, that's like a two hour drive to get there. Ecuador has really played with my sense of distance, like what's close to me, what's far away. The mountains are really deceptive. It's a cool place to live. It took me a long time to just figure out which direction I was when I was down in the, in the valley. And I remember one day looking up in, from the valley and just being like, hey, I, I live there. And I didn't realize that from this point that I grocery shop, the place I go every day, I could actually see my house. It took me like three months to actually realize that. Staring out at Ilalo, I've always kind of dreamt of building a place up here with the nice views towards Quito. But uh, the truth is, it's eroding pretty quickly. It's not a good place to build because of that. It's like, can you build on this or are you going to be over the edge in a couple of years? It's hard to say. 
Ilalo essentially splits two valleys, the Tumbaco Valley, and then over there is Los Chios. Los Chios kind of leads into Quito on the south side, closer to the old town. And there's also a river that runs along here that connects the two valleys. There's a road that you can drive it. It's quite beautiful road. You can see the agave plant here, this giant agave plant. Ugh, these bugs. These things are always filled with spiders. The agave spiders are kind of cool. They're like these little horned looking things. Yeah, there's one right there. There's two of them. Creepy little f***ers. Almost every agave plant I've ever seen has one of those spiders living in it. We've actually hiked Ilalo. There's a spot you can get on down that way in El Tingo and you hike up to the top to this like point where there's this cross up there and then you kind of go down in this little dip in the mountain and you get to the very peak and then from there you can go all the way down into Tumbaco. We did the whole thing. It was like five hours or something. Really it took a lot out of me. It was a difficult hike, but beautiful. Let's keep going and see if we can get a little bit higher. Maybe we can get some better views. Ourselves on my own time, I made shifts. Shooting for the moon, gon' turn this Honda to a spaceship. Shorty won't fuck with me. I just won't get some rain and sleep. Shit, low free, yeah. Say what I want, then I get what I want. It's too easy, yeah. Baby, you know I'm a G. I got a double them C's. She wanna put it on me. Yeah. Used to sit inside my room, living through some interviews. Took my ass up out of school, I knew I had to make some moves. Got that pressure on me, turn anxiety to diamonds. Demons make it harder, close my eyelids. Yeah. Told my brothers, when are we gon' make it? We just gotta grind for that paycheck. Mama told me one day I'd be famous. Remember when she used to say she hated us. Back then they would laugh when I say shit. Inside all them people's playlists So one day I'll be stomping on those stages But right now we're just dancing in the basement Yes, Queen, you can see everything from up here This is what it's all about This is why I love Ecuador I live over there, I see this mountain I go, I'm gonna drive my motorcycle up it And just explore the side streets on the mountain And I find this beautiful path just farming communities through here. A lot of local people who have probably been doing this probably don't make a lot of money. They live a hard life and you just get to putt through it and just observe it and, and then views like this. This is incredible. So you can see here, this is the highway. This is the Ruta Viva. Fairly new and it really helps connect Kumbaya to Quito, which is on the other side of this ridge here. You can see Pichincha beautifully there. Between that and this ridge here, that is Quito. Quito sits in there in that valley. And, oh, you can actually see the water reserve from here as well. That's the water reserve for Kumbaya. I believe I live well, the Ruta Viva up and over, follow that. Man, I gotta live like right around, oh, I can see it. I think that's it there, right around there. Beautiful day out. You can really see all the little Conjuntos, I believe they're called in Spanish. The little gated communities that have populated Kumbaya, Tumaco. This is beautiful. And Ilalo is just like, it looks so simple from my balcony, but it's complex. It's, there's basically two hills, front, one in front of the other, that from my point of view, it just looks like one. All these little hills and throughout here, that would all be Ilalo as well. It took me about 20 minutes to get up here, so big it's beautiful love it so let's go down into Tumbaco get some lunch and we'll see a little bit of Tumbaco I think it's a great little spot if you're looking to live 
somewhere close to keto. I would say Tumbaco is my number one pick. I like it better than Kumbaya for a few reasons, which I will state. Hey, there's some vultures. All right, let's go. Here I am in the main square of Tumbaco. This is their central plaza, central square, I don't know what they call it, Tumbaco Plaza. Uh, I don't know, there's no signs. It's the heart of the city. It is surrounded by some buildings, uh, not really that many restaurants. Over here we have the church. It's, there's a municipality building, I think, over there, like a government building. It feels a bit more like an actual city is rather than like Kumbaya's kind of more of a suburb of Quito maybe. It's bigger, more population. It's further east away from Quito, further away from Quito, but you jump on that highway, if you have a car, it's not that much further really. Hotter here too, a little bit lower in elevation and the temperatures are better. I'm like steaming up here, I'm really hot. So I'm not gonna sit here for long because I am in the sun and I will burn fast. What else? Growing conditions here are really good. They grow a ton of different fruits, vegetables, everything, grains and everything here. If I were gonna choose a place to live close to Quito, I would choose this spot because it's just, it feels more like Ecuador, less like expatville. And there are some really nice, like gated communities just outside of the town, like within walking distance, but like out in the nature a little bit more. Really beautiful spot. So I should wrap this up because my battery is almost dead and I'm also supposed to be wearing a mask and there are police walking around here. So I will say goodbye. I got to say goodbye to you guys. And shortly after this, when I turn this camera off, I'm taking that motorcycle into the dealership and they're going to help me sell it. So I got to say goodbye to the motorcycle too, which is really tragic, especially on a day like this, cruising around. It's just, you know, I didn't do stuff like this enough. And so I wish I had one more month but it takes a long time to sell something in Ecuador. If you want to sell your car, your motorcycle, you need a month of like paperwork time plus the time to sell it. So I, won't, I don't want to get stuck with it. So I'm uh, like two months out, less than, two, or more than two months out. And I'm going to try to get that bike sold now. So that's the last, last motorcycle adventure. Here we go. Let's do this. I will. Also, if you're looking for an apartment starting in July in the Quito area, mine will be up for grabs. I'm trying to find somebody to rent it because we actually have two extra months left on the contract. So we're going to have to pay for it, even though we're not living in it, unless I can find somebody to move in. So July 1st, you need a place. Our place is beautiful. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Got to get out of the sun. See you guys in the next one. Prefer when I'm by myself. I don't wanna hang around y'all. Pray for good health. One day I'm gonna go more. Fuck around and buy the home more. Breaking that cake. Texting 700 in the bank. Not a superhero, I'm safe. Look at my face. Look at my grace. Don't match up, no love.